Hello, and where the hell have I been? <laughs> I know some people have been a bit worried because one of the most recent videos that I did put up was telling you about some health issues I've had. And so, yes, yeah, some people have been worried that that's why I've not been around. That's not the case, though it is a health thing that has kept me away. Uh, last Thursday, Andrea and myself were celebrating our fourth wedding anniversary, and we went to a funky hotel in Manchester. Um, but within half an hour of getting there, Andrea started feeling ill, chest pains, back pains, pain in the shoulder, feeling sick, and I'm like, that's a heart attack, we need to get you to a hospital. She says, no, I'm fine. I call NHS Direct, they say, we're sending you an ambulance. So, um, yeah, she goes into A&E. End result is, we spent a week there with her admitted to first a short stay ward, then a longer stay ward, uh, various scans and blood tests and all kinds of crap. Um, she didn't have a heart attack, which is good. Um, very strong possibility she had a clot on her lung. Uh, the first scan said yes, quite probably. The second scan, after nearly a week of being given anticoagulant, said no. Uh, so yeah, it was it was a very it was a scary week. It was very scary. I, while Andrea was in the hospital, I was I, I spent a few days in the hotel, having to like extend my stay by a couple of days at a time until we found that I could get a room at the hospital, um, much cheaper and on site, so I didn't have to travel. Um, made life a lot easier. Withenshaw Hospital, absolutely fantastic. If you're ever going to have a heart attack, blood clot, anything like that, and you're around Manchester, go to Withenshaw. Because <laughs> obviously everyone plans for that kind of thing, especially on their wedding anniversary, A. Eh? Um, that's why I've been away. She is doing well now, a uh, bit of anemia. Don't know what's causing that yet. Um, but other than that, she's fine, just kind of a bit worn out and tired. I'll tell more of the story on my other channel soon, whether I'm going to record that now or later I don't know, but I just wanted to keep you all updated and, and tell you why I've not been here, because it's been a surreal week. Yeah, I will tell a story in much greater detail on my other channel, not so much the medical stuff, because that's Andrea's business and it's not my business to be telling her medical details, obviously. But the actual, uh, the week, there were so many different aspects, and I'm going to talk about that a bit. Yeah, okay. Thank you for watching, and th big, big thank you to everyone who's been, like, wishing Andrea get well soon, and, and all, all kinds of well wishes. I've, I've been keeping uh, uh, Twitter. It was about the only access to the internet I had reliably all through the week, so I was, like, posting updates on Twitter. So that's why some people know what's been happening and some people don't. If you don't follow me on Twitter, you don't get the latest news. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you for watching.